This week on Granite State Challenge, Londonderry High School takes on Manchester Central High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready, it's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello everyone and welcome to our final quarterfinal match of this, our 40th season of Granite State Challenge. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got two teams with us here this week that already won their first round game and they're gonna do battle to see who makes it to the semifinals. Let's introduce them to you. First up, we have the team from Londonderry High School. They are led by senior captain Austin. Austin is joined by sophomore Nathan, sophomore Brendan, and Xander, also a sophomore. And the team is coached by Peter Willis. And facing off against them is the team from Manchester Central High School. They are led by senior captain Kellen. Kellen is joined by Akshay, a sophomore, Tess, a junior, and Dante, a senior. Their alternates are junior Tyler, freshman Nick, and the team is coached by Ed Doyle. And those are our teams, but we do have one more introduction with us again this week, of course, is our judge, Ann Belanger. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. Go ahead and grab those signaling devices because we're going to play the game. And as you know, we play Granite State Challenge in four rounds. And in round one, we do 10-point toss-up questions. So, Londonderry, Manchester Central, good luck, and here we go. This 9,750-foot-tall mountain, which is home to the gods in mythology, is a real mountain in Greece. Xander of Londonderry. Olympus. Correct. This deep red color is the school color of Harvard and the University of Alabama. Kellen of Manchester Central. Crimson. Yes. You will find a memorial in Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, Hawaii, marking the resting place of 1,102 soldiers and sailors that died on this battleship on December 7, 1941. Austin of Londonderry. Arizona. That's right. This wedge-shaped writing system was first used to write in the Sumerian language. Austin of Londonderry. Cuneiform. That's right. Earthquakes and underwater volcanic eruptions may generate a series of potentially dangerous waves from displacement of water that are known as this. Austin of Londonderry. Tsunamis. Correct. This Mediterranean island is one of the 20 regions of Italy. Its capital is Palermo, and it is located at the tip of Italy's boot. Austin of Londonderry. Sicily. Correct. Will Ferrell played this Jeopardy host in a parody of Celebrity Jeopardy on Saturday Night Live. Austin of Londonderry. Alex Trebek. Yes. The musician Prince loved purple. In fact, one of his biggest hits was this song with purple in the title, which was also the title of a 1984 movie starring Prince as an aspiring musician known as The Kid. Akshay of Manchester Central. Purple Rain. Correct. This could be the surname of a singer who sang about country roads, the surname of an actor who played the castaway Gilligan, or a city in Colorado. Austin of Londonderry. Denver. That's right. William Gregor discovered this element in 1791. It is a transitional metal named for the Titans in Greek mythology. Alloys of it are used in mobile phones, the aircraft industry, and in medical prostheses. Xander of Londonderry. Titanium. That's right. In 1986, this Soviet general secretary promoted glasnost promising more openness and transparency in institutions in the Soviet Union. Austin of Londonderry. Gorbachev. Right. This man, who served as Supreme Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Force during World War II and 
as 34th President of the United States, was a halfback on the 1912 West Point football team. His football career was ended with a torn knee, so he took up fencing, gymnastics, horseback riding, and boxing. Nathan of Londonderry? Eisenhower. Correct. All four members of the Beatles were born in this English city. Austin of Londonderry. Liverpool. Yes. All right, teams, name the six different pieces in chess. Dante of Manchester Central. Rook, queen, knight, king, bishop, pawn. Correct. You got them all. Well done. You will find the final words of the Communist Manifesto, quote, working men of all countries unite, end quote, on this man's tombstone located in Highgate Cemetery in London, England. Austin of Londonderry. Marx. Marx is right. Red blood cells deliver oxygen to the tissues of the body. Where do red blood cells develop? Dante of Manchester Central. Red bone marrow. We got that, you got that. Uh, artistic depictions of scarabs are frequently in Egyptian jewelry. What is a scarab? Dante of Manchester Central. A beetle. A beetle is right. This composer, who was a child prodigy, started composing when he was just five. He was the subject of the 1984 movie Amadeus, which focused on a mostly fictional rivalry between him and the composer Antonio Salieri. Austin of Londonderry. Mozart. Yes. Teams, how many Henrys have been King of England? Austin of Londonderry. Eight. Eight is right. Who was the protagonist of the 1831 Victor Hugo novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame? Tess of Manchester Central. Uh, Quasimodo. Correct. This French designer was questioned about her relationship with a German diplomat during World War II and possible collaboration with the Nazis in occupied France, but she was not charged with any crime. Kellen of Manchester Central. Coco Chanel. Correct. All right, teams, the next question is our picture question, so go ahead and take a look at your monitors. You are looking at the mower, painted between 1881 and 1882 by this French artist, known for developing a painting technique called pointillism. Austin of Londonderry. Monet. Sorry, no. <laughs> Kellen of Manchester Central. Rembrandt. No, it is Georges Seurat. This athlete was a member of the SAC and Fox Nation and the first Native American to win an Olympic gold medal. He won gold medals in the 1912 Summer Olympics in the pentathlon and the decathlon. Nathan of Londonderry. Michael Strahan. Sorry, no. It was Jim Thorpe. All right, team, just in case you need paper and pencil, there you have it. What do you call 10 to the 100th power? Austin of Londonderry. Google. Yes. Teams, in what sport will you find shafts, fletchings, knocks, release aids, and bracers? Tess of Manchester Central. Sailing. Sorry, no. Xander of Londonderry. Archery. Archery is correct. In the movie, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Marilyn Monroe sang this song about a woman's friendship with a carbon allotrope. Tess of Manchester Central. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Correct. In 1934, Horton Smith was the first winner of this golf tournament held every year in Georgia. Austin of Londonderry. The Masters. Correct. This sea in the Atlantic Ocean has no land boundaries. It is known for its brown sargassum seaweed and calm blue waters. Kellen of Manchester Central. Sargasso Sea. That's the one. Dr. Frederick Frankenstein and his monster sing this Irving Berlin song in Top Hats and Tails in the 1974 Mel Brooks movie, Young Frankenstein. They sing Putting on the Ritz. All right, teams, pencil and paper there for you if you need it. Rounded to the nearest whole number, what would your percentage grade be if you missed five questions on a 15-question test? Austin of Londonderry. 67. That's right. Linda Ronstadt, 
Creedence Clearwater Revival and Hank Williams all sing songs about these slow moving marshy bodies of water found in the deep south. Tess of Manchester Central. Bogs. Sorry, no. Nope. Sorry, Kellen can't ring in. Close test, it's Bayou's. And that sound ends the round. And after round one, Londonderry out to a, a little lead by a score of 180 to 90. All right, great job, both teams. We're going to roll right into round two. And in round two, we do 20 point toss up questions. So double in the point value here. Londonderry, Manchester Central, here we go. The Isles of Scilly, found off the coast of this southwestern English county, are the warmest place in the British Isles. Austin of Londonderry. Cornwall. Cornwall is right. All right, teams, our next question is our Unitil power question. It is worth double points, so this is a 40-point toss-up question coming to you on your monitors. Take a look. This HBO drama series set in Baltimore explored urban life and the interactions between law enforcement and various institutions. Kellen of Manchester Central. The Wire. That's right. George Jefferson, a black businessman, was one of the lead characters of the TV sitcom The Jeffersons. He was first introduced as a neighbor to this bigoted character in the series All in the Family. Austin of Londonderry. Archie. Need a last name. Bunker. Say it. Bunker. Correct. In what country will you find Baja, California? Kellen of Manchester Central. Mexico. That's right. This group was founded in Baghdad in 1960 by five member countries, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. Today, there are 15 oil producing member countries in the group. Austin of Londonderry. OPEC. Correct. This chess piece cannot move backwards and can only move one square at a time, except for on its first move, when it can move forward two squares. Tess of Manchester Central. The Pawn. Yes. This 1984 film followed a fictional band of the same name, made up of guitarist David St. Hubbins, lead guitarist Nigel Tufnell, bassist Derek Smalls, and various exploding drummers. The film is This Is Spinal Tap. This could be a tasty puff pastry, Pedro's best friend, or a French military leader and politician. Austin of Londonderry. Napoleon. That's right. All right, teams, we have reached our 40th question of the match, our 40 for 40 question, worth 40 points, and it comes from season 38. This 1996 movie stars basketball legend Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. Callan of Manchester Central. Space Jam. Yes. Tweety Bird, and maybe even Big Bird, are species of this small yellow songbird. Xander of Londonderry. Canary. Correct. This age, which stretched from 3300 BCE to 1200 BCE, preceded the Iron Age. Xander of Londonderry. The Bronze Age. That's right. This animated series, created by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, features Kenny, Kyle, Stan, and Cartman. Nathan of Londonderry. South Park. Yes. This mountain in Washington State is the largest active stratovolcano in the Pacific Northwest. It last erupted in 1450. Austin of Londonderry. Rainier. Mount Rainier's right. The city of Addis Ababa was founded by Emperor Menelik II in 1886. In what country is Addis Ababa? Austin of Londonderry. Ethiopia. Yes. Teams, what are you afraid of if you suffer from triskaidekaphobia? Akshay of Manchester Central. Number 13. That's right. This singer is known for the 1977 cautionary song Paradise by the Dashboard Light, which features play-by-play -play calls by New York Yankees announcer Phil Rizzuto. Austin of Londonderry. Meatloaf. Yes. Teams, what Carthaginian leader tried to cross the Alps with 38 elephants during the Second Punic War? Xander of Londonderry. Hannibal. That's right. What animal is Scottish poet William Blake describing in the lines, what immortal hand or eye 
could frame thy fearful symmetry in a 1794 poem. Talent of Manchester Central. A sheep? Sorry, no. It's a good guess. He was talking about a tiger. All right, teams, another math question. You have pencil and paper. How much would you pay to fill a completely empty 12-gallon tank with gas if gas is $3.12 a gallon? Kellen of Manchester Central. $13.72. Sorry, no. Austin of Londonderry? $37.44. That is correct. And that sound ends the round, and it looks like Londonderry extending their lead just a bit over Manchester Central. All right, teams, we are going to go into round three, our three strikes and your out round. In this round, each team gets 10 questions in a category, 10 points for each correct response, plus 10 if they get them all right. And we'll go right down the line, team member by team member, until three strikes and you're out. And just as a reminder, each team has three passes. All right, Manchester Central, we're going to start with you as the team trailing. And Kellen, you get to choose as team captain from these categories. All you need is love. They call it mellow yellow and lend a hand. Can you repeat them? Yep. All you need is love. They call it mellow yellow and lend a hand. All you need is love. All you need is love. The answers to the following will all include the word love. Here we go. Kellen, 1950s sitcom starring Lucille Ball. I love Lucy. Correct. Akshay, what you call it when you can't see any faults in the person you love? No, it is love is blind. Tess, this singer-songwriter was married to Kurt Cobain. Courtney Love. Correct. Dante, what you might call excess fat around the hips. Love Handle. Correct. Kellen, this 2003 song by Beyonce features her future husband, Jay-Z. Pass. Akshay, same question. Pass. All right, Tess, same question. Drunk in Love. Sorry, it's crazy in love. Dante, these parrots love to live in pairs. Pass. All right, Kellen, same question. Oh, he, he passed, so we have one more. Yep. These parrots love to live in pairs. Love birds? Correct. Akshay, in this song, Elvis Presley wants to be loved sweet and never let go. It is Love Me Tender. And that is your third strike and four out of 10. All right. Nice job, Manchester Central on tough category. Londonderry, we turn to you in Austin. The remaining categories you can choose from are they call it Mellow Yellow and Lend a Hand. Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. OK. The answers to the following will all include the word yellow. All right, Austin, path followed by Dorothy and her three companions. The yellow brick road. Correct. Nathan, this is a North American wasp. Yellow jacket. Correct. Brendan, newspaper stories that are heavy on sensationalism and light on facts can be called this. Pass. Yellow journalism. Yep, Xander is correct. Austin. Ringo Starr is the lead singer on this Beatles song. Yellow Submarine. Correct. Nathan, Will Ferrell vo voiced this character in the 2006 Curious George movie. Man with the yellow hat. Did we give him that? Say it again. Man with the yellow hat. It's a man with the yellow hat. Think about that, judges. Brendan. You will find the Geyser Old Faithful in this national park. Yellowstone? Correct. Uh, Xander, this virus is spread through mosquito bites. Yellow fever. Correct. Austin, this folk song about a gal who walks around the Rio Grande 
dates back to the 1850s and has been covered by Willie Nelson and Elvis Presley. High ribbon around the yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. It is Yellow Rose of Texas. Nathan, this novelty song by Brian Hyland was about a girl in a teeny one of these. It's a pass. Brendan, same question. Yellow skirt. Sorry, it is yellow polka dot bikini. And Xander, this waterway separates mainland China from the Korean Peninsula. The Yellow River. Sorry, it oh. is the Yellow Sea. All right. Seven out of ten on your rounds. All right, teams, good job on those three strikes questions. Some tough categories, but that's okay. We're going to roll right into round four. And in round four, we're going to continue with our 20-point toss-up questions, but we will be deducting 20 points for incorrect responses. So play smart and strategic. Londonderry and Manchester Central, here we go. Teams, what is a perfect score in 10-pin bowling? Nathan of Londonderry. 300. That's right. This poet who made Wilmot, New Hampshire his home was the 14th Poet Laureate of the United States. He was the author of over 50 books, including the 1980 Caldecott winning children's book, The Oxcart Man. That was Donald Hall. This species of marmoset is the smallest true monkey in the world. It weighs less than four ounces, and its body is four and a half to six inches in length. It is found in rainforests in the Amazon basin in South America. Kellen of Manchester Central. Chinchilla. Sorry, no. Nathan of Londonderry. Finger monkey. No, it is the pygmy marmoset. In computing, what does the term WYSIWYG mean? It means what you see is what you get. In what continent will you find the fertile lowlands known as the Pampas? Akshay of Manchester Central. South America. Correct. This actor has played Woody, David S. Pumpkin, and Forrest Gump. Dante of Manchester Central. Tom Hanks. That's right. According to Newton's second law, what does mass times acceleration equal? Austin of Londonderry. Force. Force is right. This New Hampshire political family has produced two governors, one who served as White House Chief of Staff under George H.W. Bush, and one United States Senator who was also a U.S. Representative for New Hampshire's District 1. Kellen of Manchester Central. Sununu. That's correct. Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands in 1835. What he found there was the inspiration for his theory of evolution. What country are the Galapagos Islands part of? Kellen of Manchester Central. Ecuador. That's right. This rock group takes its name from an Air Force bomber. They had hits with the songs Rock Lobster and Love Shack. Kellen of Manchester Central. B-52s. That is correct. Teams, what river forms most of the border between Washington State and Oregon? Kellen of Manchester Central. Columbia River. That's right. In the 1952 biographical movie Viva Zapata, written by John Steinbeck, directed by Eli Kazan, uh, Eli Kazan and starring Marlon Brando, Brando plays Emiliano Zapata, one of the leaders of this revolution that occurred between 1910 and 1920. Akshay of Manchester Central. The Mexican Revolution. Correct. This country on the Iberian Peninsula shares a border with Spain and was a major maritime power from the 1500s to the 1800s. Tess of Manchester Central. Portugal. Correct. Parents who suffer from a feeling of loss and sadness after their children leave home can be said to be suffering from this syndrome. Callan of Manchester Central. Uh, uh, Nest, um, uh, it's, uh, leaving the nest syndrome. Sorry, no. Londonderry? Empty nest. Correct. That was Xander. Uh, as many as two million Cambodians were killed between 1975 and 1979 by the Khmer Rouge under the leadership of this general secretary of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. 
Akshay of Manchester Central. Mao Zedong. Sorry, no. Londonderry, Xander. Pol Pot. Pol Pot is right. <coughs> the Fisk Free Library in Claremont, New Hampshire was one of 2,509 libraries built between 1883 and 1929 with funding from this businessman and philanthropist. Callan of Manchester Central. Carnegie. Carnegie is right. That sound ends our game, and despite a good run by Manchester Central at the end, it'll be Londonderry moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations, Londonderry. We'll see you in a few weeks for your semifinal match, Manchester Central. Congratulations on your first round victory and for a well fought match today. We hope you had fun. And we hope you had fun at home as well. We hope you join us next week for the start of our semifinal round. That'll do it for us. I learned a lot this week, and I hope you did too. We'll see you next time. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you.